Hello, good morning. I greet you in the name of the Lord. I'm here to pass the warning to you. The Bible says in the last day false prophets we arise they will show lying signs and wonder and if it were possible the very elect will be deceived I only come here to pass a warning to most especially the brethren on Facebook. And it will be a sorry, a call is distracting what I'm doing. It will be a very wise choice if you listen to this warning. We are living in the last day. I'm very sorry, a call is coming in to distract, to, to disrupt what I'm doing. We are living in the last day. On a day that there are false prophets everywhere and they are showing a lot of lying signs and wonders some of them they are performing magic so i'm not here today to just speak about those one who are not preaching holiness because the Bible says by their fruit, we shall know them. By their fruit, we shall know them. I want to warn you about the man called Dr. Owo. The man is from Kenya. The man have a very long beard like this. Since five years ago till last year, the Lord has been revealing deep secrets to me about that man called uh, Dr. Prophet Owo, the one they, they are calling the mightiest prophet. Yeah. Uh, I want to share just a revelation I saw. I have a lot of revelation about him. But I want to warn you personally because many have been deceived because of the message of repentance and holiness. As I'm talking now, they worship that man like God. They call him my Lord. They pray in his name. They bow before him. And exactly what I saw. In that revelation, I saw that they were having a crusade. It was like a mega big crusade. And I saw the man. He was on a stage. And everybody was looking at him. Suddenly, he turned himself into three. He, he, you know, he commanded and said, I command one part of me to go this side, another part of me to go this side. And he became three. And as he turned himself into three, as he turned himself into three, 
those crowd, they bow before him and they sing praises unto him. They worship him as if, you know, as if when you are worshiping God, they sing praises and praise this man. And I was made to understand in that revelation that the man has been raised up by the devil in this last day to deceive the elect, those that have the mind of making heaven. You know, I have not, I have not to do this kind of video before. And I need it enough, it's enough. We cannot keep silent and wait until everybody is deceived. And I was made to understand in the revelation that the man we attract a lot of elect through the holiness messages. Those that have the mind of making heaven through miracles and teaching on repentance, many will go to him. So he will attract them with that message. And suddenly, he will show his true color. And those who want to live will be threatened with death. And this is exactly what is happening now. If you speak against what they are doing, they will sue you to court. Even imprison you. Listen carefully. I have not done this kind of video before. And more are still coming. Listen, be very careful because now they worship him as God. They call him my Lord. They said he is Elijah that is coming. If you want to pray, if you want to send prayer requests, you have to praise him and adore him and mention him and uh, pray to, to, to Dr. Owo. And some of the people who are there, they already knew that. Something is wrong, but they can't come out. You can't come out just like that. They will threaten you with death. Because now they believe they are the only one going to heaven. The man was saying, he was saying in a video, I watched the video. He said, God the Father, whenever God the Father wants to speak with him, God the Father will call him my Lord. Just imagine such a blasphemy. How can God the Father call a human being my Lord? That is a, that is a, I have, I have seen people who, you know, who are so rebellious. I have seen people who are rebellious. In fact, a white man sent me a message and he said I should tell Jesus to expand the pit of hell that he is going there. But what this man said is more terrible. How can God the Father call a human being my Lord? It's very strange. And he said, he has the key of heaven. If you want to enter heaven, it will be through him. Which means Jesus Christ is no longer the way, the truth, and the life. The man is now the way, the truth, and the life. 
Because he said he has the key to open the gate of hell and he has the key to shut it. And in the book of Revelation is Jesus Christ that have the key. I have never seen this kind of thing in my life. Even the atheists that say that there is no God, we are praying for them that God will open their eyes, they will, they will know that there is God. But this one is the worst thing I've never seen in my life. How can God the Father call the man my Lord? Even when God the Father is speaking with Jesus, God the Father didn't say, my Lord. In the Bible, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, and he gave us only be his begotten son. There is no place in the Bible where even when, uh, when Jesus was baptized by John, do you remember what happened? The voice that came out from heaven, the voice said, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. The voice of the, of the Father that came from heaven did not say, This is my beloved Lord. If the man is a human being and God gave us the grace to live long because he said he's not going to die, he's going to, he's going to miss the rapture and he's going to be the, one, the Elijah that is going to preach after the rapture, all those erroneous teaching. If Christ delay his coming, if Christ Delay his coming. We will know. He was not the first person to claim to be Elijah. There are some people now, there are some people in some century ago, they claimed that they were Elijah, and now we can see their graveyard. We know where they buried them. If he said that if, if, if you are going to enter heaven, we must listen to him because now he is the only way he is the only way that leads to heaven and many have been deceived many have been deceived please be careful especially those of you that you believe that anyone preaching holiness is of god you better, don't, you better don't put your life into trouble. Because the addressing holy does not mean God is there. Because the appreciation holiness does not mean God is there. Be very careful. Immediately a church or a ministry begins to say, you can't make heaven unless you join them. That is not a church, it's a court. It's a secret society. It is a secret society that we always threaten their members that live. They will threaten them with death. And this is what is happening. God revealed to me, you know, the life of that man, everything about him. Everything about him. There was time I was really... Ah, I was fed up. I said, ah, but Lord, why, why is it that I, you are just exposing this man to me every time? Nobody will believe me. Because people, they have, they have that mindset that anyone preaching holiness and is going to heaven. And the worst part of it is the fake miracles that the glory come down. Uh, they, will, they will snap the, uh, the ray of, of sun. By the grace of God, I am, I am, I am editor. By the special grace of God. I edit videos, I edit film. And I know about those special effects. And apart from that, the way you set a camera, if, if you want to, if there is a sun and you set a camera in a, in a certain position, there will be a ray, and they will say, as they are doing meeting, glory of God come down. <laughs> it's very funny, honestly. 
the glory, the, as the man of God is moving, glory is moving with him because he has said it before that uh, in the meeting, I saw that this and this, and uh, for people to believe. So it is what we see on internet. That is what, that is what you believe. So there is a way, there, is, there are some special effects in a dope or after effect or heat film or uh, Sony Vegas and uh, so many uh, editing software that you can use to do that. That as, as you are moving, you can make, you can give the person a glow effect. You know, the man mostly put on white, white suit. So you can, uh, you can make a glow effect that is going to reflect, it will be as if the, the, the glory is from heaven. And as the man is moving, the glory is going, the, the, thing, the glory effect is going to move with him. And uh, they will post it on internet that as the man of God was preaching, the glory of God is moving with him. And God, the Christian, they believe that. Even Jesus Christ on earth, he did not do such a thing. The only place we read about that is two places. When, when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane and when he resurrected. And it was not, it, this was done before the apostles, not before a crowd of people. No. You need to be very careful. You see, the Bible says in the last day, the, the, anti, the, the, the false prophet that is going to prepare ground for the Antichrist. He's going to perform great lying signs and wonders. Because at times the man will call rain from heaven and the rain will come down. You need to be very careful. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. I've said my own. It's up to you to decide. It's up to you to decide whether you will choose to be de to continue to, to, to be deceived or not. Because a lot of people have been deceived already. A lot of people have been deceived and they believe that the man is from God. The man was actually sent by God to prepare way for to prepare the way of Messiah. They didn't know. Is here to prepare the way for the Antichrist. Go and read the book of Matthew 24. You will understand what I'm talking about. Because what we are seeing now, the Bible says by their fruit, we shall know them. By their fruit, we shall know them. Any ministers of God that allow you to worship him, bow before him, sing praises to him, pray in his name, that man is not from God. Because God has given us only one name through which we must pray. And that is the name of Jesus Christ. If not in the name of angels, in the book of John, the book, sorry, in the book of Revelation, when John saw the angels and he bowed before him, the angel rebuked him. He said he should stood up that he's a servant like himself. Even the angels won't allow you to pray or praise him in their name. It is the devil. Remember in the kingdom of, in, 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 when Lucifer was in the kingdom of God, he was, he was looking for praise. He want people to praise him. And uh, they want the angels, they want to be in the position of God because they want to be taking the praise, the glory. He was sent out of heaven because of pride. And this is why today the devil is demanding for worship from his followers. It is only God that deserves glory. Adoration, not human being. And now I, I think mean I'm using we are using I'm using our uh, television software. I will show you the proof of what I'm saying. I will show you the proof where he said God the Father called him. Uh, God the, whenever God the Father want to talk to him, God the Father will call him my Lord. And where he said that he is the only way that lead to heaven. And uh, that he has the key. He has the key to shut and to lock heaven. And not only that, every nation must listen to him if they will enter heaven. Which means the only ministry God recommended on earth is 
Dr. Owo Ministry, which means that we that we are here and you that you are there in your ministry, in your churches, we are just wasting our time. If we don't join the, his ministry, we are not going to enter heaven. Just imagine. And the Bible says in the book of Matthew that when they tell you, here is Christ, here is Christ, come, he's in the desert, he's in the valley. He said, don't go. We are one. Jesus has foretold all this thing that is happening. You can't expect the prophet, the first prophet that we prepare way for the Antichrist to, to, to declare himself that he is a false prophet. No. Even when the devil wants to tempt you, he won't say he is the devil. He won't say that. The, the devil won't say that I am devil, I have come to tempt you. The devil will always appear as an angel of light in order to carry out his, his, you know, his oppression. Devil always disguise. So the Antichrist will not just, you know, the first prophet that is going to work with the Antichrist is not just, you know, he's, he's not just going to, you know, say that, uh, um, no, he will pretend. And if Jesus said the very, if it were possible, the very elect will be deceived. Who are the elect? These are the people that have the mind of making heaven. These are the people that have made up their mind to carry their cross. These are the people that know the truth of God. These are the people that they, they, want, to do, they want to do the will of God. These are the elect, the people that they, their mind is, is on heaven. And these are the targets of the first prophet because, you know, they 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 the, the, the prosperity preachers, they have already captured those who are interested in miracles. Those who are interested in, in science and wonders. The prosperity preachers, they have already captured those ones. They are in the cage of those prosperity preachers. But those of us that have the mind of making heaven, do you think I will go to a place where they are not preaching the truth? And I will be a member there? Do you think I will sit under a, ministry, a minister that will be preaching erroneous teaching? I can't do and you can also you can't do that. But if somebody is preaching holiness, preaching about heaven, preaching about the kingdom of God, won't you go to such place? You would definitely go to such place. So those one, they are trap set for those who have the mind of making heaven. And it's a pity that the, the cage that this man, Dr. O have said, has captured millions of people from different parts of the world. Be careful. Escape for your life before it will be too late. Escape. Don't wait. If a woman being is telling you that he is going to miss rapture, they will, for what purpose are you going there? Run for your life before it will be too late. Run for your life. Run for your life. <laughs> and I pray that the Lord will help you. And the Lord will give you the gift of discernment. Because what most of you lack is the gift of discernment. And you have forgotten that the Bible says not everyone that says, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of God. Not everyone will say that Jesus is the way. He's going to heaven. We can't expect the ministers of the devil to say they are ministers of the devil. Look at those false prophets from Ghana. Look at those false prophets from Ghana. Uh, the one they call Angel, or what do you, did they call his name? Do you think he, he, did he say that uh, he's from the devil? He won't say that. Doctor, what we walk on red carpet, they put a red rock for him. Even Jesus didn't do that put red rug for him to walk on it. Living in luxury and all that. 
between the man now and Bushiri and uh, an angel, uh, the, what's the name of that man, that angel from uh, Ghana? Which one is the worst? Even Bushiri don't even say that God, God the Father called him my Lord. Even that one is doing a lot, committing a lot of atrocity. But he, he, he never said that uh, God the Father called him my Lord. <laughs> it's very funny, honestly. Those who we already know them, but those who are, up, who are more, uh, don't worry, more will still be exposed. Those who who are using holiness to cover face and deceiving people, they are the one that we need to expose because those who are preaching prosperity, we you know them already. You, we, we know them. We don't need to waste our time. We have won them. We have won people and won people, won people. So it's left to them to, to, to decide whether they will run for their life or not, or they will continue to be deceived. So it's left to them to decide. But those who are, who are hiding under the umbrella of holiness, who are preaching holiness, but they are demonic, using occultic power, using witchcraft power, those who are the ones we need to expose them because the people under them, the people going to their ministry or to their church, they are the people that, that they have the mind of making heaven. The Bible says, the Bible says, we should test every spirit if they are of God. Because the, 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 the false prophet has gone into the world. Test every spirit. Somebody is asking me, the, what is the purpose of this broadcast? Be careful of false prophets. Be warned. I've said my own. I pray that may the Lord give you the heart and the wisdom. And may the Lord give you the gift of discernment so that you will not be deceived. God bless you all. And May the Lord uphold you. May you not be deceived in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bye. God bless you.